Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to show you how to define a linear equation. Now, on the board already I've drawn a table which indicates three different equations. The first, y equals 2x. The second, y equals 2x plus 2. The third, y equals x squared. Here are the y's, y1, y2, y3, representing those. Here's x. x is 1, 2, 3, or 4. I'm just using these as examples. Now, when we work out y equals 2x, we know y is 2, 4, 6, 8. 2x plus 2 gives us the value 2 times x, 2 ones are 2, plus 2 gives 4, so 4, 6, 8, 10. So we're just evaluating y for each value of x. And here again, y equals x squared, 1, 4, 9, 16, the squares. Okay. Now when we put this onto a graph, I've already done the first one, y equals 2x, and I extrapolated it back to 0, so 0, 0 is a point for y equals 2x. This should be a straight line. I know it's not a very beautiful straight line, but it's a straight line. All right. So looking at the second of my equations, y equals 2x plus 2, in each case, this is y equals 2x, so plus 2 is just 2 higher up at every point on this graph. So in fact, the graph looks something like that. And you notice this also is a straight line. So y equals 2x plus 2 is a straight line. Both of these are straight lines. You will also notice that in both of these cases, x is just a plain, simple x. Although there's a number here as well, all the number does is to push the graph up a little bit, or if it was negative, it would push it down a little bit. So you could have 2x minus 2, which would be down here. And so on. But our other graph, our third graph, y equals x squared. Now, what does that do? Well, let's plot it. 1 and 1. x is 1, y is 1, which is there. x is 2, y is 4. It's the same as with this graph, so it should actually coincide here. So they're actually the same at that point. Then x is 3, y is 9. Here's 3 and 9 is up here. And finally x is 4, y is 16, is up here somewhere, about, about there. And you can see, if x is naught, y is naught also, you have got a very different graph. Right? And this is not linear. This is y equals x squared. It is not a linear equation. This is a, uh, an equation which involves a squared. It's a second degree equation. So what we're looking for with a linear equation is first of all on a graph like this we're looking for a straight line. We will know that it is a straight line because x and y will both be to just plain x and y. No x squareds or y squareds or 1 over x's or anything like that. y equals so many x plus something. This is a linear equation.